Welcome to today's session. We'll be studying conditionals in grammar. The first condition is the zero conditional. And this is also called the factual or the real conditional because we use it to talk about truths and facts. For example, when the sun sets, it gets dark. This is a fact and it's in the conditional. So this is the zero conditional. We also use it to talk about habits, rules, and to give instructions that are the result of something else happening first. When you sleep late, you wake up tired. This is a habit and it's also a rule. You can either use when or if in the zero conditional. You can use both. There are two clauses in the zero conditional and we use the present simple for both. So we use when here and we use present simple in both clauses. When you sleep late, present simple. You wake up tired, present simple. This is the zero conditional. If you work hard, first clause, you succeed. The second clause, both are in the present simple. As for the first conditional, we use it to talk about possible events in the present or future. It is also called the possible conditional. Like if you don't eat now, you will be hungry later. If you don't eat now, you will be hungry later. It is possible that you'll be hungry later if you don't eat. In the first conditional, the form is if plus present simple, and then comma, and then s plus will, or won't in the negative, plus infinitive. Like, if I have enough money, I will buy new shoes. If plus present simple then comma, then the future will, and then base form, which is the infinitive, and this is the first conditional. We can also form the first conditional with the if clause coming at the end. So we have s plus will, won't, this is the future, plus infinitive, base form, after will. And then we have if, the if clause comes at the end, plus Present simple. If plus present simple, this is the if clause. For example, I will buy new shoes if I have enough money. I will buy new shoes. S plus will plus infinitive. And then if I have enough money, this is the second uh, clause, the if clause mentioned at the end. Whereas in the previous sentence, we mentioned the if clause in the beginning. We can use both. So in summary, the zero conditional is called the real conditional. It is factual. The first conditional is used to talk about possible events in the future. The zero conditional and first conditional have two clauses. Both of them have two clauses. The zero conditional is present simple in both clauses. As for the first conditional, it has a present and future clause. The first clause can be future or present and the second likewise. So for the last uh, rule, it's like if she has enough money, she will buy that laptop. So this is the first conditional and it has the present simple in the first clause and the future simple in the second clause. When the if and when clauses come in the beginning, we put a comma after the clause. For example, if she has enough money, she will buy that laptop. So we have the comma between the two clauses and um, we have the if clause in the beginning 
and it can also be the when clause as well. Okay, let's practice. Is it a zero or first conditional? When it rains, I'll take my car. Is it a zero or first conditional? That's correct. This is the first conditional because it's possible. You won't catch the bus if you walk. You won't catch the bus if you walk. Is this a fact, a habit, or is it possible? It's possible. So this is the first conditional. When it rains, the grass is wet. When it rains, the grass is wet. Is this a factual sentence in the conditional or is it possible? This is a fact. So therefore, it is the zero conditional. Thank you very much for listening today and well done.